it's Dandu3D <laughs> back at you again uh, with another tutorial. Uh, so last time I was showing you how I sculpted a jumper. Um, now I'm going to show you how to texture a jumper. So you might be worrying why haven't I shown the low poly and baking side of things. Uh, I kind of want to dissect that in a video in the future and also I've kind of gone over it in previous videos. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's it's a big fish to fry. So uh, I think I'm just gonna jump to to texturing for now. Um, and if you have any questions about UV and baking, you can hit me up uh, or, or put in the comments below uh, if you have any questions about it. And yeah, so today I'm gonna go over how to make some really simple cloth texture like this. Um, and it's gonna be really easy and really quick uh, and you don't have to do anything too crazy. Um, and yeah, I, I've, I've kind of gone over, well not kind of, I've done exactly this video before, uh, two times, three times before, uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, pretty much just showing how to make really quick cloth. Um, but I will say, I think over the years, um, I've learned more, uh, and I've come up with better ways of doing it. Um, and to be honest, if my, like, my thing is to keep making this exact video, uh, each year, I'm cool with that because I feel like, you know, I'm getting better and better or finding better ways to do it um, to make simple clothing. And, and realistically, I, I'd love to be in a position where I can make a tutorial that's so perfect for just shitting out very simple cloth texture uh, that someone out there will go, fuck, that saved me hours of trying to work out how to do it. So yeah, uh, the, the more the better. So yeah, let's go into Substance Painter. Also, this is what we're going to be pretty much trying to replicate by the end of the video. Uh, I've done this before. I did it beforehand, before streaming. Um, nothing too crazy. This took about, let's say, maybe half an hour or an hour to, to complete this. Um, uh, it was a few things just to work out what I wanted to do with it. Um, so it added on the time. But I think now that I know exactly how I'm going to do it, this should be pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it and then uh, compare at the end of the video. So um, let's get to it. Let's get into Substance. So this is how it looks in Substance. Uh, I am rendering it out or like looking at it as a final product in uh, Source 2, uh, but you might be using Unity or Unreal. Uh, but yeah, the results should be roughly the same. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. So let's go in here. We'll make a new base. Um, and I'll actually, I'll turn this off completely so we're not affected by anything. So let's start with the actual cloth itself. Uh, and we're going to start with just a nice gray. Um, I say keep it a bit, a bit nice and gray. I'm going to set the roughness to one. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it just a neutral color and you can mess around. It's pretty much, it, it, if you're going to do different colors, it'll pretty much be the exact same walkthrough. Uh, so let's call this um, uh, base clothy smiley face uh, now we have added that weave in uh, slightly in the actual zbrush sculpt um, but what we're going to do really quickly is we're going to add a weave texture and you'll see why we're using this to reinforce the actual details i'm just going to scale that up go to pattern tile that a few times there we go um, and i'm gonna just have the color and roughness on. And maybe the height just a teeny bit. Just turn that up a teeny bit like that. But then what I'm gonna do is go to weave. Uh, and I'm gonna add a filter and add a warp. There you go. So we'll put that up just slightly. We can actually look at the mask that we're making. There you go. If you ever feel confused about what you're working on, and it's just kind of hard to see what your mask is doing. If you hold down Alt and just click on the mask, it will show you just the mask. Uh, also, if you press M, it'll go back to normal. Uh, so we'll do that, and we'll set the white slightly above the, the base color. Go to color so you can see. It's just slightly brighter, so it'll pop out a bit. Let me call that, we'll call that wee, Weavy sad face. Uh, then what I'm gonna do is start adding in the curvature. So underscore curve, or maybe it'll be called something else. I use mom, ma, uh, ma, ma, marmoset to get the bakes. Um, so it's called underscore curve. So we can look at the actual map itself. See how you get all these nice details going on here. 
which is really fun and a lot to work with. I'm going to do levels. I'm going to bring out just the, the edges. See how now it's grabbing all this interesting detail? Isn't that cool? Um, oh, love heart. Um, and what we're going to do is I need to get some water really quickly. One second. Ooh, all right, I'm back. Hello. I got a uh, cracker. There we go. So, looks pretty boring so far, I will say. So, what we're going to do, we've got pretty much our base. I'm going to call this curvy. Um, let's add some AO. So, I've just got AO. Let's grab the AO. Mm hmm. Set that to a dark color. And already, you'll start to notice things are starting to look less bad. There you go. Cool. So, what we're going to do next is that's pretty much the base. I'm going to call that AO. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much the base, right? And that's, that's. Most people would go, okay, that's more than fine. But we're going to add some displacement. Um, so, what we're going to do is make a new fill layer. Actually, I'll, I'll do this to just to break things up nicely. I'll call this the base. The base guitar. <laughs> Um, and this will be the bass guitar. There you go. So this is our displacement. Uh, and what we're gonna do is just do color. We're gonna do a really dark color like this, and we're gonna do a bitmap, and we're gonna look up uh, spots. That's it, spots. And I'm gonna put those on, and we're gonna scale it in quite a bit. Scale that. Ta. Maybe change the of it. There we go. And now you have this kind of slight spottiness, which goes a long way. And then I'm going to call that dark spots. And we're going to make a new one. We're going to duplicate it and call it light spots. Um, and I'm going to do a light color like this. We're going to have to move it slightly to like, I don't know, like there, right? Maybe change the opacity a bit. And already now you've got this kind of like funky bit of detail in your in your cloth before after now you have all the stuff going on you might even feel like oh it's too much all of it since it's in a group you can adjust it a bit opacity wise there we go um next thing i'm gonna add is some uh, some smart masks uh which i hate using um or hate that i say i use but some of them work really well uh, and there's one called fabric edges that just it's just nice. It's just nice. Um, it just gives a bit of a subtle edge, and it gives you just like little small details. Um, I'd say just you could throw it to dark or light. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it as a light. Yeah, just some interesting details. Uh, I'm gonna call that curve. Uh, and also, we're gonna do some grunge. Um, so what grunge could we throw on? Let's find one together. Uh, okay, right now, put your finger on... Okay, we're going to play a game. Put your finger on one of these here, right? And you're going to uh, like try and guess which one I'm going to choose. If you get the right one, you win, okay? All right, ready? Oh, <laughs> did anyone get it? All right. <laughs> so, uh, now we got that grunge. Uh, it's kind of a rubbish gr I, I kind of wish I didn't pick this grunge, but it's fine. We can work with it. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be mushed up with so much other stuff. Uh, cracks. We don't need cracks. It's not a crack piece of paper. All right, so there we can just shove on some nice dark displacement. Yeah, very nice. Um, so now already you've got a nice bit of displacement. See that? Uh, uh, not take off the whole thing. Uh, 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 uh. That one a bit more subtle, a bit more. I like how that looks. Now I'm going to add some tufts. So I'm going to put ta, ta, guitar, bass, guitar. So tufts. This is going to be the tufts uh, folder. So we're going to go here and we're going to put in spots again. But this time we're not going to do like a massive grunge of it. We're going to set the balance down. So it's only a few of them. Let's look at the mask, so we're making sure we're only doing a few. And we want it to be like, just a few, like that. Like stars in the night. Oh. Um, and we're gonna set up the height, quite 
apply the color to white. Um, maybe I want to make them slightly bigger because they feel a bit too small. Just pull those up a bit. Maybe now the um, height is a bit too much. Set that down just a bit. The rough start, roughness up like that. Okay. Okay. There you go. Just little, little details. And do you know what we're going to add as well? Uh, we're going to use something that everyone has here. Uh, the Tift texture. Oh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on. Um, uh, I'm now just going to like just pepper a bunch of these all around. Uh, and you might feel like it's just not really coming out. Like I, I can't really see it. Uh, oh, that's a, you can see it a bit more there. Um, what I can do is right click on the actual mask. Let's do levels. We're just going to pick it up a bit so they, they come through a teeny bit more. Let's see. Ooh. A bit more subtle. But yeah, you can see it now. So now you can see without, with, without, with. Cool. Um, one last thing. We're pretty much done. Uh, the next thing I like to do is add some color damp... Uh, uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, dark, dark bits. Um, so uh, what I like to do at the edges of clothing is pretty much just darken the hell out of it like this, right? You might be going, what the fuck are you doing, Daniel? Well, I don't get it. Uh, without this detail that I'm going to add, it feels a bit one tone, one color. Uh, but with this, and then a bit of this, we kind of bring down the opacity a bit, and a bit of, a bit of a deleting of the, uh, we're just sculpting it a bit. <laughs> we're not in ZBrush, silly. Uh, you get a nice kind of bit of gradient. That's the word, a bit of gradient. You see that? Uh, what we can do as well, if you want, add a bit of a paint layer to the mask, and we could like add some, uh, uh <laughs> someone's gone for a run. <laughs> so some uh, sweat patches like this, which is pretty cool. Um, we're pretty much done. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, one more thing you could do. Uh, if we compare, what's the difference? Ooh, I actually kind of like this one more. The second one I've done. But there's one more thing I can do that's different to this one. So we're going to add some really cool stuff. We're going to go back to the base. Go right next to this. Go in here. Set it to black. Maybe have it on top of this. Maybe not. Have it here. And we're going to go to mask, bitmap mask, turn off everything, and we're going to go to anastropic noise. Uh, and we're going to turn that up crazily because, especially with this kind of material, you can kind of get this kind of direction that happens on the actual cloth texture, like this, like a kind of directional grunge. Um, so, and it just looks nice. It gives it this nice feeling to it. So you just kind of bang that up a bit, bring down the opacity, and you've got a nice kind of sweeping grunge thing going on. You, you see it a lot in cotton, which is quite nice, but I just kind of shove it on all the time. It looks nice. All right, there we go. Uh, and then like, you know, you might want to now play around with just an overall pass of, well, I didn't give this a name, uh, Sweaty Guitar. Uh, you might want to just, at this point, do another round of AO. Uh, I'll be building up so much detail on it sometimes that I need to have like an AO and a curvature map just on top always. But sometimes you might get lost in the source uh, and you want to add like another one just to, just to bring it all together. Sometimes I feel like just doing that and then also adding a... Uh, uh, uh. Come on, <laughs> a curve. Um, it just kind of brings it all together. Does that make sense? It just kind of flattens everything. Uh, and I think, especially when you're working with a lot of different materials, let's say, I mean, let's say you have so many things going on in the scene. You have, you know, you've got metal, you've got leather, you've got cloth. If you just bake it all together with a nice AO and curve on top of it, it really works, it really helps. Um, I do it all the time uh, without fail on my cloth. So now, now we can see how that looks in engine. There you go. That looked pretty good. What do you think? You might see this and go, well, maybe the AO is a bit too much. So what we can do, 
just maybe loosen it a bit. Bring it down a teeny bit. I still have it there. And then, see how it looks? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, hell yeah. And you can see the curvature and the, uh, the cloth goes a long way because it just brings out those little details that we've done in ZBrush. Um, and yeah, I, I, another thing I like to do as well is sometimes, ooh, 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 God, oh, here we go. Um, it's just mess around with the different smart masks. I hate the smart masks and I hate suggesting to use it uh, because they're kind of poop, a lot of them. But uh, just go through them. There might be some good ones in here. Like for example, this one's kind of cool. Oh, wait, ooh. Let's try gun edges. There's some use in this, I think. You've got some nice little details going on. You could use that as like kind of maybe a mud, dirt pass very easily. So already now you've got this like slight bit of dirt that's going on. Let's give that a bake. A render. Sorry. And then yeah, now you just have these like little details. Just nice. And it's using your curvature and AO map to fuel that, which is great. And that's why I go ham on the ZBrush. There you go. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this was good. <laughs> I, I'm to to dissect what I want to do with this channel is I think I'm really bad at speaking. I'm a really bad speaker, uh, and in the future I want to go and do like little lectures uh, around where I where I live, and I want to go do stuff like. A, my like colleges and unis, I'd love to go there and, and do little lectures on how I do clothing or just texturing or ZBrush stuff. And I, I find myself finding it really hard to talk. Um, and you might be going, Daniel, you sound fine. But like, I feel like I stumble over my words a lot. I, I slur a lot when I'm speaking, speaking, speaking. I said speaking, speaking. Um, so I hope this can be kind of a, a project for me to get better at that. Um, and yeah, give me, get, generally I'll open up, give me your feedback on how straightforward I am when I talk. I feel like I go on tangents a lot, like I'm doing right now, um, and it's annoying, so please tell me if it's annoying. Thank you, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching, woohoo, bye! <laughs>